Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course. Is this all they have? Jesus Christ. I can't drink any of this. Fucking crap shit. <laughs> Peter? I don't know. Stop. Practice your German, oh. dear. We'll Hello need there, it. Sir. Please. Best Have a seat at the counter. Be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blaskowitz. Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello. Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But mom, no any... buts. Oh. Bitte schön. Danke. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, coming down. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face, it is too. Are you out of station one? There you're coming up. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of station six. What is the location of Station 6? I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. I don't trust you, Blaskowitz. 
There's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blasquist to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I need the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special, lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. You know? Maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire purview, gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah. Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. And Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest, Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments due to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology, alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martians. No, okay, all right, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talk. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels 
to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 cargo train loading depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free from shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Ich hab kein Verständnis für Terroristen. Wie können sie Gewalt gegen uns beweisen, nur weil wir anderer Ansicht sind? Die sind halt gewalttätig, Karl. Denen fehlt die moralische Richtschnur. Wir sind doch auch mit. Nein.
Stick this in your pipe and smoke it. Set was talking about.
So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Overcommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it. They won't find it, they won't disarm it.
Yeah. Keep running, Nazis. Sickness on the community and a bad influence, and dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors to slaves, and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. What, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scout. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Ooh. Follow me and I'll show you. Uh, okay. Come on. Ah. 